Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about three logical fallacies that is, appeal to Ed Hamilton, Hill by Association, and Strawman. So, first one, Ed Hamilton. Ed Hamilton involves when someone attacks a person who is making the argument rather than the argument itself. Besides, a critique of that person are not relevant to the opinions. Here is an example. My opponent suggests that lowering taxes will be a good idea. This comes from a woman who eats ice cream every day. In this case, eating ice cream has nothing to do with her opinion on lowering the case. Eating ice cream doesn't mean she don't have good arguments to back up her beliefs. Another example is like the statement, how can you argue your case for vegetarianism when you are enjoying the states? The statement focused on not being a vegetarian. However, arguing someone who argues for vegetarianism don't necessarily have to be vegetarians. So, the statements focus on the person rather than on their arguments. This kind of fallacies is quite common in our daily lives. I encountered one when I worked with my teammates. A friend of mine told me not to listen to somebody's opinion because he's bad, uh, because he is not popular in his department. However, whether someone's opinion is good or not cannot be based on the popularity of his. His popularity has nothing to do with his and guilt by association. Guilt by association involves when someone judges their opponents being guilty or faulty because the company they keep. Here come some examples. Emily is a big supporter for equal pay for equal work. This is same policy that is supported by extreme feminist groups. Extremists like Emily should not be taken seriously. In this case, Emily is associated with extremists only because they support the same policy, despite the fact that other than extreme feminists can support the policy. Another case is like Social Security is a old, is a state founded old age pension. Nazis supported the old age pensions. Therefore, social security is bad. The speaker argues old age pensions was reported by Nazis and uh, social security is part of the old age pensions. Therefore, concludes that social security is bad. The third one, straw man fallacy. The strongman fallacy involves when a debater comes up with a counter-argument that is easier for him to attack or knock down because it's not his opponent's best argument. In this way, the opponent's positions can be misrepresented. For instance, someone who supports less regulation on genetically engineered crops says, if we take away farmers' ability to grow genetically engineered crops, if we eliminate that option, people will go hungry and people will starve. Unlike my opponent, I, use, I tend to use the technology available to us and save lives. In the case, the speaker states if we regulate more on the engineer crops, there will be no crops and people will die. Besides, at the same time, if he is suggesting his opponent um, who against engineer crops as wanting people to die. Another example comes from Donald Trump. He said in his campaign speech that when do we beat Mexico at the border? They beat us all the time. When do we beat Mexico at the border? In this statement, he categorized all Mexico as being drug dealers, rapists, or criminals, despite the fact that other illegal immigrants can be well-behaved working force in America society. Um, he put up straw men to let his opponent who don't want to enforce strict law on border security as being support supporting more and more criminals being sent to America. My own experience of encountering 
straw man fallacy is that a few years ago, free the Nepo campaign is quite in a buzz. I support the campaign because of the argument behind it, which is women's bodies should not be objectified as sexual tool. And I was quite sensitive back then, and I tend to generalize all those people against the campaign as sexist. However, then I come to realize my command can be a straw man, because it's easier for me to attack them when I just assume them as sexist. Despite that there have there might be some people who against the campaign, but they are not sexist. In fact, a female professor told me that girl can get cold if they get topless. And she is not quite agree with the campaign as a way to fight for gender equality. These are the logical fallacies I presented on the attack. Thank you for listening.